Now we're going to take a look at a new feature which was added in SolidWorks 2013 for weldments. This new command is called bounding box. But before we do that, I want to point out that we will be using two models for this lesson, Workbench Complete and Workbench Drawing Bounding Box. And both of these files, like always, can be found in your Working Files folder. So let's begin. In an earlier lesson, I demonstrated how to populate the fields for items 19 through 22, which are plates, end caps, and gussets. And if you recall, it required several mouse clicks. And it even required keyboard input. This new command, bounding box, greatly speeds up the process. So I'm going to begin by going to the weldment part file, expanding the cut list, scroll down to item 19, which is the workbench top, and right mouse click. Notice I have create bounding box. Before I select this, I do want to talk about what's going to happen here. When I click create bounding box, in the background, SolidWorks is going to calculate the smallest box in which this body can fit. So let's go ahead and click it, create bounding box. And now I'm going to right mouse click item 19. Select properties. And notice the cut list properties for item 19 now displays a description, a bounding box thickness, width, and length, along with the volume. I'm going to do the same thing for items 20, 21, and 22. So I'm going to click OK. Right mouse click on item 20, create bounding box. Right mouse click on item 21, create bounding box, and the same for item 22. I'm going to go back to the drawing file and we will see the fields are populated. Now let's return to the weldment part file for additional discussion. The bounding box can be used for any item in the cut list. The bounding box information can be used for build materials, cut list, or other annotation. It is also important to note, should you ever want to undo that bounding box, you simply right mouse click on the item, and notice we have delete bounding box. And this concludes this lesson on bounding boxes.